Hi, I'm Joe Theismann, world champion quarterback and entrepreneur, and I have the pleasure to be able to sit and visit today with Dr. Theo Kasuli. And, and Theo, you're a, um, you're a chiropractor, but you also deal in hypnosis I, as I well, a, a little bit about. I got to ask you about hypnosis first, because I've been a, I'm a little bit of a skeptic, to be honest with you, when it comes to hypnosis and going someplace, I guess, where I don't have control. Maybe it's just the fact that I like being in control of something. How did, it have, how did you get involved in hypnosis? I mean, was it a part of your life? Did you experience something that set you on this path? Well, Joe, many people are skeptical. First of all, many people are skeptical of, of many things they haven't tried first or where they've heard some bad things from someone else. I want to leave everybody with a rested mind. Good. About that hypnosis. I'm all ears. About chiropractic, too. Many people are very scared of chiropractic. That's why I invented HypnoChiro and actually a technique part of the Kasuli method. And through my method, I've been able to relax people and give them the ability to get the benefits of both chiropractic and hypnosis. How did you, how did hypnosis affect you? Obviously you had to experience it in some way, shape or form to incorporate it into what you do. I did. Actually, personal difficulties earlier on in my life. Start off with, uh, I get a little emotional That's when okay. I talk about That's this, right. but I was semi-paralyzed in a pool accident. Wow. Yeah. The semi-paralysis of my left hand and then incredible pain, Joe, in the heart and the lungs. It was a chiropractor that was actually able to help me. I went to all the specialists and a chiropractor was the one who brought my life back. And then after How? that, How? well, I was on the table there, Joe, sitting there looking up at the ceiling. I was like, please don't let him paralyze me. I was really right. afraid. Oh, I think that's a fear of a lot of people. It's like you're manipulating the body and you know, what's going to happen? Everything went through my head at that moment. I was, I was paralyzed with fear and I was paralyzed in the body as well. Right. And a little prayer, I believe in the power of prayer and I got the answer at that moment. I sat there, I asked God, I was like, please give me what I need and keep me healthy and protect me. And when that chiropractor came in and put his hands on my neck, a calm came over me and then he adjusted me after looking at my x-rays and getting all the, the data he needed, he brought back my life that moment, Joe. It was as if a, a lightning came out and just wow. boom. My heart, my lungs just started to, to move back to normal. Their tingling in my hands started to become more normal. I was getting power back into it. I, I mean, I was in tears when he, when he did that and I said, the power I'm feeling right now, you changed my life. You changed my life. You literally gave me back my life. I wanna give this to other people. Right. And you want to take that gift that he gave you and use it for others. It was so powerful at that moment. Hypnosis came after my second health challenge. A few years later, I had open heart surgery, Joe. They told me that the aortic valve, that I, the, the murmur I was born with, actually was about to take its last tick. I had eight months to live. The cardiologist gave me eight months left oh of my, my life. I was 28 years of age. You don't know what goes through a man's mind at 20 years of age. You've already gone through it once when you, know, you, when you had the great fear of not being able to think that you might not be able to move. Now somebody comes in and you know, sort of piles on, I guess you could say, at such a young age. After my surgery, they told me it would take six months for me to recuperate. Wow. It took me 45 days with my method. After open heart surgery, a month and a half later. You developed your own method? I did. What I love about what you're doing, you have a passion for life. Oh. Because you've been given it twice. You've been, well, actually three, birth, going through the, the bull accident and then the heart surgery. And now you're at a point where I think a lot of us, you achieve certain things in your life. You had an epiphany at a very early age that basically said, what can I do? Because these people have been so great to me and, and my life has been saved. And what can I do? What can I give back? But uh, take me to the hypnosis aspect of it. How did, now, how did that part? Yes, hypnosis came into play big time in my recuperation after open heart surgery. Now the doctors told me that it would take statistically six months right. for me to recuperate. I was back in the gym pumping iron in 45 days. And the way I did that was with chiropractic and hypnosis and a lot of good nutrition. What through hypnosis were you able to find or understand? Well, I had to set my mind right. If you know as a sports professional, if your mind is set, yeah. you have that goal, boom, you're going to make that happen. Yep. You know, time stands still. Everything kind of comes and the universe gives it to you. So right. subconsciously, you have to be there. So I saw myself working out po you know, positive at the gym. I saw myself running. I saw myself doing all the things that I know innately my body can do. 
and I didn't see the limitation. I saw myself unlimited, a self-hypnosis, but it was in a way that it was constant. I didn't do it just at night. I did it constantly. I spoke to myself constantly. It was, it's as if we were speaking right now right. to each other, but I was doing it in a way that was positive, reinforcing deep. And I didn't let myself one, one bit get into any doubt that I would be 100%. Wow. And it worked and it worked quickly. Uh, I believe that when the, the chiropractor was able to realign my spine, the physical aspect of my spine alignment really connected the heart uh -huh. and it can get all the instruction that it needed. Right. Then the esoterics or the unseen portion of healing right. had to come in and that was up to me. Joe, when people get hurt or they're in some kind of recuperation from surgery or from uh, hospitalization, the power, the power is inside of them. Yeah. It's not in the scalpel as much as it is inside their spine. And that's my message. That's, real, that's really what you want to tell people. You want to say to people, listen, it's in you. I, I, would, I would venture to say if, it, if you didn't have that approach in your life, you wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't be here. There are a number of, there are a couple different times when your life would have been certainly different from the paralysis, but, but also, you know, from the heart surgery and going through that process. Um, and where, and, and where are you today now? What, you know, what can you tell people and say, these are things that are going to be important to you and I'm here to help you. And this is where you can get a hold of me. Look, you're having difficulties. You're having challenges. I've been through the sick care system. It's not even a healthcare system, Joe. Right. It's a sick care system here in America. I've been through the path. I know what you're going through. Now, what can I do for them? Everything. Everything. What doesn't control your neurology? You can't dance. If, if, you're not, if, you're not, if your neurology is out of, out of place, you can't dance. You can't think. Life becomes a struggle. Right. I'm looking to free people from that struggle. Relationships become difficult. You can't love your spouse or your loved ones if you're having a nagging pain in your body. Yeah. You can't perform. Pain is so distracting. It is, I mean, Big you, motivator. You, you, wake, you wake up with pain and that's all you think about. All you think you don't, about. You know, you, yeah. the next step, it's like I have a back issue every now and then. I get up sometimes and it's like, oh, I don't even know what's going on the rest of the day. All I know is I got to get somewhere. How can you perform at your top level yeah. if that's there? You can't. Can't do it. Listen, tell everybody where they can find you. The seminars, the personal coaching, they can get books online, www.drkasuli.com, D-R-K-O-U-S-O-U-L-I.com. Theo, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Thank you.